The Commerce Tigers are coming straight off a huge upset win over number five George Walton and taking to the road at Athens Christian. Always a good matchup as we pick it up in the first. Javarius Wood builds the punt, fakes the reverse, and picks up 35 yards on the return. That will set the table for this. Jameer Walton from inside the 10 puts Commerce up 7-zip. But on the ensuing kickoff, Justin Brooks fielded at the 8-yard line and nobody, I mean nobody, lays a finger on this guy all the way to the house. He takes it 92 yards, and that's what you call quick reflexes for Athens Christian, tied up at 7, and to the third quarter we go. It's the same score. Taylor Hardigree chugs ahead on his way for a 30-yard big gainer. That leads to a field goal attempt. This is huge. Blocked by Grant Mayberry, and we will hold course seven apiece, still the score. Now, some things aren't meant to last, though, and this play proves that. Brett Branton drops back, connects long with Levi Cummings on an 80-yard play. Great effort to bring him down shy of the goal line, but Athens Christian then goes back to Hardegree again. This time he bulldozes his way in, 14-7 late in the third and it appears like they have full control, especially after this play. Commerce driving, but a timely Demetrius McWhorter INT, but they eventually are forced to punt back to Commerce with the time running out. Wouldn't you know it, give to Jameer Walton. Huge run deep into the red zone. They can taste it, clock running down, 120 to go. Caleb Brooks, it's good, 14 all, and we get free football overtime. Athens Christian goes first. Who else but Hardegree in for the go-ahead score, 21-14. But here's Commerce. Mr. Clutch, this kid, he is a beast, tied up, right? No, Commerce is going to go for the win right here. Winner, go home. Give it to Chance McClure. Yes, Commerce wins a thriller 22-21.